This is a board game with spin wheel part six. I believe this is the final of this series. It's a follow up to part five which I have opened on my computer. And in this one we're going to have it that when the um, when the players uh, land on these special spots and then you press the check button and the again button they'll move automatically to the proper spot. For example, when they land here, they're supposed to go to step seven. We'll put them on step seven. We'll click the buttons, and they'll jump up to up to seven. And at the same time, the uh, player's position will keep track of where they are. Now, on my copy, this was sent to me by the, one of the viewers. On my copy, one of these is wrong. Like this position six, five. If I look at that, that's called P1 wins. And this one here, if I look at that, it's P2 wins. On It may be on my video, the previous one, that I didn't change this when I pasted it, but this should be frame labeled P2 wins. Okay, back to the timeline, uh, frame 2, for example. We now want to find out the coordinates for some of these blocks. And the easiest way to do it is is to get a pencil and paper so put the video on pause get a pencil and paper or jump back and forth that's up to you I'm going to lock all the layers unlock the players layer that's the one if I took look everything disappears select in frame one for example click off to the side and on my piece of paper I'm writing uh, three as in frame three and I actually called it 3F, so I know it's a forward move. And it says go to 7. So I'm taking my man and putting him on frame 7. And I've done this earlier and, and got the coordinates. And I played around with my arrow keys to get it to what I think is the center. And then I open the properties panel. And this is what I want to write down, is this X and Y coordinates. And the ones that I had previously were 443.6. That's right on. And my Y previously was 359.25. So once I have that done, I know where that's going to end up. I then went and looked at this one. Number six is go to step two. I moved it down to step two, got it closest to the center as I could, opened the properties panel. And this, I actually have 183.6. And this is the same coordinate as the other one, which was 359.25. I also went and looked at number 12, which says go to 17. So I pulled this up to 17, open the properties panel. The coordinates I got here were 234.55. That's what I got earlier. That's what I'm going by. And I got 265.95. And I did the one for 14, which says go to step one, pull this down to step one, played around with it and centered it. And what I got here was 132.3 and 359.25. So now, well, you'll see these numbers used when I write the action script. Now, I want to make sure that this here is back where it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to pick it up and put it over here use my arrow keys and that's where it's going to go where it's supposed to be I'm going to select frame 3 of the actions panel of the actions layer open the actions panel and come down here where we hit this check button click in this trace next get rid of that that was just something I was using I'm just going to delete that and in here, type, 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 type. It's inside of this check move, which is done by the check button. And it's an if statement. If, open bracket, player position one equals equals three, close bracket. So that's saying if player one was to stop here and then we press the check button, we're going to do a few things. Because it's going to move to seven, position seven, we want to tell it to player position one equals seven semicolon 
Okay, so we're telling it to go here. Up here we have two equal signs because it's a test. There's the open bracket for the if statement. There's the closed bracket for the if statement. Also, inside of this if, we want to say player1 underscore mc. That's the movie clip of the player himself. Period. It's x coordinate. The x will turn blue. Equals. And these are the ones that I have. 443.6 semicolon. People that are not people that are using this and did their own won't have these same numbers as the person that I'm doing it for. Copy this, paste it, change the x to a y, and change the coordinates to 359.25 semicolon, and there's my close bracket. Now what I did was I copied this, copied it and pasted it, but to save some time I'm just going to give you the results. So after this, put a couple enters. Oops, excuse me. Put a couple enters. And in your case, paste it in. And what you would do is you would you would have this paste it. Keep make it position two equals three. And make this position two equals seven. Because now we're dealing with the player number two. And it would be the same coordinates, but this has to be player two and player two. So that's all you would change. From there on, you're going to cut, cut, copy and paste and change the values. So if I look here and go down a little bit, this is for position six up here where it's going to go back to, to frame to position two. So it's player position one equals equals six. Here it's talking about player position one equals two. That means it's been sent back to two. Player one, player one. And the coordinates here are 183.6, 359.25. This is the same position six going back to two, but this time is for player position two, two player position 2, and player 2, and player 2, and these coordinates are the same as the one above it. This is for when it's on the 12 and it's told to go to 17 for player 1, player 1, player 1, player 1, and there's the coordinates for uh, point block 17. Copy that and paste it, and this would be for player position 2, player position 2, player 2, player 2, and it's the same coordinates as the previous one. And I did one more to, I did 14. For player position 1, player position 1, the coordinates are here, 132.3, 359.25, copied that call it player position two, player position two, player two and player two, and that should be it. Now I'm gonna try to test it out. You would have to do a similar thing for the rest of the um, those special blocks, but I just wanna try it out. Control, test, movie, test. This could be the longest part of the video, getting these two to do something. All right. Start it and stop it. I got six. Oh, good, good. Six is a good one. So this goes to six. Now, when it's on position six, it says go back to step two. So when I check it, it jumps back to step two. It says player one should be on step two, player two, step zero. I can go again. Now it's player two's turn. He gets a four, one, two, three, four. I'll do a few of these. Check, should be two and four. Two and four, that's good. Back to player one. Five, one, two, three, four, five. This time it should be seven and four. Seven and four, very good. Test it again. This is player two, three, one, two, three, no problem. We don't have a rule for that. 
Check it. 7 and 7, that's good. Back to player 1. Just see if I pick these other ones up. 3, 1, 2, 3. Should be 10 and 7. 10 and 7. This is working really well. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, this should send this guy up to 17. There it is, 17. So it's 10 and 17. I think that's going to work. Now, naturally, you got to do all the rest of them. What I would do if this was my puzzle is I would change one thing. Back on the main timeline, where you have these steps, uh, step numbers, this layer here called step numbers. No, this one, step STO. No, where's those step numbers at? I have to find them. I'm trying to find out where this writing is. There, that one. Direct is called, okay? That direct layer right there, I would do something on those. For example, if I'm on this frame right here, I'm gonna hide everything, except that direct, and I would change them. I would say, uh, just like something like go back or go ahead, but I wouldn't say the number of steps. Like I wouldn't say go to step seven. I would I would leave that out. I would leave that out just so that when the person is playing, he, he's going to know if he lands on a blue, he's going to go ahead. If he lands on a red, he's going to go back, but not how many because they might be inclined to, as soon as it comes here, automatically move their person here. It wouldn't mess the game up, but it just wouldn't wouldn't be what you want. Okay, I hope that works for you. Good luck.